Every year, thousands of travelers visit Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon National Park to stand beneath the towering redwood and giant sequoia trees. These two incredible national parks are located adjacent to each other in the Sierra Nevada mountains of East Central California. Kings Canyon gives visitors a chance to see the deepest canyon and one of the biggest sequoia tree groves in the U.S. Sequoia National Park is known for its diverse wildlife, gorgeous waterfalls, and marble cavern. The two parks are located right alongside each other, so tourists can easily travel back and forth between them in a single day. Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks are two bucket list destinations that you cannot miss. In this video, we're going to cover some of the top things to do with these incredible parks. Stand beneath the General Sherman Tree. Sequoia National Park boasts some of the tallest trees globally, which makes them one of the park's main attractions. At a staggering 275 feet tall and 36 feet in diameter, the General Sherman Tree is the world's largest tree by volume. Out of all the things to see in Sequoia National Park, this one is the most impressive. It's over 2,000 years old and has been delighting tourists at the park for generations. Getting to the tree is a fairly easy hike. It's located in the giant forest sequoia grove, just half a mile off the main trail on Wolverton Road. If you'd like to explore further, the giant forest sequoia grove offers a two-mile loop called the Congress Trail, which offers a number of other giant trees to look at. The entire route is paved, which is perfect for an easy family stroll. Scale Moro Rock. One of the most unforgettable overlooks that you can witness in all of Sequoia National Park is the view from atop Moro Rock. Moro Rock has been formed out of a giant granite dome and can be seen thousands of feet above the highway as you enter Sequoia. This hike is easy to access because it's located only a few feet from the Moro Rock parking lot. The trail is completely paved, with stair steps and handrails leading all the way to the top. It's a safe hike, which ascends 350 steps upward until you reach the peak. The strenuous hike may require quite a few stops to catch your breath, but in the end, you'll be rewarded with spectacular views of the Great Western Divide, San Joaquin Valley, and the Eastern Wilderness. Technical rock climbers like to take advantage of the undeveloped side of Moro Rock, and peregrine falcons use the area as a breeding ground in summer. Drive through Tunnel Log. Fallen across Crescent Meadow Road in the giant forest is Tunnel Log. It's only half a mile from Moro Rock. Tunnel Log was carved from a 2,000-year-old sequoia tree that once stood 275 feet tall. Since its fall in 1937, a tunnel was cut through the tree as a tourist attraction, and you can still drive through it today. The tunnel itself is 17 feet wide and 8 feet high, so only smaller cars can fit through it. Nevertheless, it's a popular attraction among hikers, bikers, and motorists alike. Fortunately, there is a bypass road for larger vehicles who wish to make their way through the giant forest as well. Tunnel Log is accessible during the spring, summer, and fall months. There's no permit required, but it does turn into a high traffic area during summer. Drive Kings Canyon Scenic Byway. 50 breathtaking miles along Highway 180 make up the Kings Canyon Scenic Byway. The route snakes alongside multiple rivers and gives you an unforgettable view of waterfalls, steep canyons, and high overlooks. The byway begins in Fresno, California, and takes you through the giant Sequoia National Monument before arriving in Kings Canyon National Park. Along the way, you can make pit stops to visit many of the area's main attractions, including the General Grant Tree, Hume Lake, Boyden Cavern, Grizzly Falls, Roaring River Falls, and Zumwalt Meadow. The scenic byway is an out and back drive, which comes to completion at the Copper Creek Trailhead and Ray's Lakes Loop. Many travelers will take this opportunity to go for a backcountry hike or stretch their legs in the nearby creek. Stroll around Zumwalt Meadow. One of the last stops along the Kings Canyon scenic byway is Zumwalt Meadow. 
It's also one of the most popular day hikes in the Cedar Grove area. Encircling the meadow is a flat, gentle boardwalk that takes you on a 1.5 mile loop with glorious views in every direction. Granite mountains, slow flowing rivers, and blooming fields are just a few of the views that you'll see along the way. The meadow is particularly attractive to families who are looking for a leisurely hike with little to no elevation gain. You'll get to experience some of the most scenic parts of Kings Canyon without having to stop and catch your breath. Trek to the General Grant Tree. Sequoia is famous for the General Sherman Tree, but Kings Canyon has a tree of its own to boast about. The General Grant Tree is located in Grant Grove and was declared a national shrine by President Eisenhower in 1956. It is the second largest tree in the world by volume. This tree is the only living national shrine in the United States. It stands 267 feet tall and is over 16 feet in diameter at the base. Each winter, the Sanger Chamber of Commerce sponsors a trek to the tree, where visitors can hike as a group through the snow to the General Grant tree on the second Sunday of December. Splash in Tokopa Falls. The sheer beauty of Tokopa Falls is sure to captivate any outdoor enthusiast. The falls cascade 1,200 feet downward into Tokopa Canyon. To get there, it's a simple 3.4 mile round trip hike, starting at the Marble Fork Trailhead in Lodgepole Campground. Although Tokopa Falls itself is a captivating experience, the views along the trail are just as stunning. Throughout the hike, visitors will walk along the Gawea River and get the opportunity to view marmots, pikas, and perhaps even a bear. Shorter hikes are also available in the area, such as the 0.3 mile trip to Roaring River Falls or the quick walk down to Grizzly Falls. Spring and summertime are your best chance to view wildlife, blossoming plants, and splash in the water. There are many things to do in Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. We haven't even gone into exploring the Marble Cave system, climbing Mount Whitney, or visiting during the winter season. If you happen to find yourself in East Central California, don't forget to visit these two incredible national parks.